Good morning, good afternoon, good a- good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. I want to speak with y'all a little bit about how some black people are responding to Oprah Winfrey and her taking out billboards or um, some of y'all say all of a sudden woke up. Um, and she's taking a lot of backlash from white media because they talk about how could she say anything about white privilege. And a lot of us are really basking in that, in, in that type of, um, feeling. And that's the kind of stuff that I mean when I say we cut off our noses and spite our face. And you can't get to no freaking kind of next level with that kind of thinking. And see, basically, at this point, that's why I said, um, it doesn't matter to me if Willie Lynch, um, that little phrase in there where he said, don't even worry about black people 400 years from now. Don't worry about them. Because they will be perpetually miserable and perpetually sick. You can do any goddamn thing to them. Because they'll be so crazy, McDaisies, that... Don't know. It won't matter. They'll be retarded in terms of their political power. They'll be uh, insane in terms of their reproduction and mating uh, ability. It'll be the same thing we did on the plantation to these people. Except the only thing is we be done turned them loose. We turned them loose. Turn you loose. Turn you loose, I say. Turn you loose. And play another day. That's what happened to us. We was turned loose. And some of the same behaviors that we had. Now, over and over and over and over and over and over and over over again, we were perpetually miserable. Because there are some of us who are really angry. Now, let me ask for all of y'all who are angry at Oprah. Could any of y'all afford to put billboards out about our sister, Breonna Taylor? Who got shot down in her damn house. <sighs> An EMT worker. Or assistant. I mean, wait a minute. A productive citizen. Don't call her a drug dealer. Don't call her all those things. And now we mad at Oprah. We want to be angry with Oprah. White people mad at her because she's acknowledging them. But we already know they're psychotic. So we're not even going to talk about them. But now you got us who are angry at Oprah. I mean, Oprah did a lot of shit that I can't stand up. You already know how I feel about what she did with Michael. And I already know what happens when you have to pay the piper. I made a video about it. Oprah's my home girl. She went to high school with my sister. She went to Fifth Street School. Um, uh, Nicolay. With my cousin, so I, I don't have nothing personal, and I don't know her personally. But I know people who went to school with her when she lived here in Milwaukee. And that's all we do here, really, basically. Is, <laughs> never mind. I don't, don't, let, don't let me even go there. Anyway, she's distanced herself. Um. And from Milwaukee, which is the number one segregated city in the United States. Uh, okay. My point is, y'all, are you are we really cutting off our nose by our face? Are we really angry at Oprah because she put up some damn billboards? We cannot embrace her and thank her like the prodigal son. Maybe she's come home. And maybe she's come home with all her money. Maybe she's come home, y'all. She's done everything she can do. 
And because she spoke out, first of all, the little girl looked, uh, I shouldn't say little girl, but to me, she is a little girl. She, she younger than my baby. She looked just like Oprah looked when Oprah was going to school. If you look at some of Oprah's older pictures when she was in high school or young, Breonna Taylor looks like Oprah. Oprah might have got pierced in her heart. Maybe it was Oprah feeling like she was looking at herself. What do y'all feel about redemption? You can, you can, you can feel redemption for Tucky. Tucky Williams and all the shit and the mayhem that he created. You can get mad because Arnold Schwarzenegger just pulled the plug on him. Right? Y'all thought his life should have been spared because he was doing good things. We ain't got no love for Oprah because she put up them billboards. Or we ain't got no love for her because she did that shit with Mike. What is it? Can she ever redeem herself? Tookie can redeem herself. Can Oprah ever redeem herself? I don't feel like that, y'all. See, that's why I wouldn't follow y'all asses nowhere. Oh, but you're on your way over a cliff. You won't listen. You're hard-headed, stiff-necked, and rebellious. You don't listen to nothing. You, we kill our babies. Throw them in garbage cans. And we got the nerve to talk about we can't forgive no damn body. The nerve to be unrepentant and unforgiving. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing else about Oprah being a sellout. And I don't care. Leave your comment below, please. I'm sure a lot of y'all can, you know, school me. Because right now, I'm telling you, I'll keep my mind and heart open for a while. School me what you think about this. Because I'm going to come back with something. Because I don't believe that you can forgive Tucky, but you can't forgive Oprah. I got a problem with this. I got a problem with it. I ain't talking about Gail or none of that. I'm talking about Oprah and what she uh, 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 said about white privilege and all these people coming out and attacking her now. And now y'all attacking her too. There are none so blind as those who refuse to see any damn thing. I'll see you in the next video. Y'all got me mad.